Hello, everybody. I'm here to talk to you about week seven in the Big Brother 23 house or whatever. Um, to be honest, I'm getting annoyed with Big Brother. I'm not going to lie. Just a lot is going on. Um, so, you know what? We're just going to get into it. Um, we're just going to get it over with. <laughs> How about that? So... We're going to talk about Alyssa first. Now, first of all, the house is the cookout. Um, there are, what, four people not in the cookout? There are Derek X, Claire, Alyssa, and SB, or whatever. Um, they're probably going to go. Within the cookout, we have Xavier, Derek F, and Kylan, who have a Final Three alliance. Um, Xavier also is in a Final Three alliance with Hannah and um, Tiffany, which is might be fading away a little bit, but I'm not sure. And then um, we have Tiffany trying to make a final three alliance with herself, Hannah, and uh, Aza. So that's kind of the setup of the cookout. It's kind of a girls versus boys thing. Um, it's really expanding towards that, but uh, we'll see how it goes um, in further weeks because we still have some time until we get down to the six, if we get down to the six. Now, um, Alyssa. Alyssa is not in the cookout. She's in a horrible position. Um, she could go next week. She could go the week after that, or she could go the week after that. I don't see her making it past that. There's not much to her game. She has a fake Final Four deal with Xavier, Kylan herself, and, and Sarah Beth. This means little to nothing because it is fake. Kylan and Xavier are not down for this. They are down for the cookout, period. So essentially, Alyssa kind of does have Sarah Beth, which is a good thing because... Uh, I mean, in two weeks, if they're both still here and Sarah Best wins HOH, then boom, uh, she makes it to another week. Um, she And then she could essentially make it to Final Five. She could win out. She could maybe get there to the end if the wrong person wins the competition or if the right person for her wins the competitions, uh, then something could shape out. Because she has this bond with Sarah Beth, that is helping her out a little bit. Um, overall, there's not much else to say. She really doesn't have any, more, any real connections anywhere else. Um, it's kind of just that. Um, that's the end of it. I'm giving her a three out of 10 because she's not going anywhere in this game unless very particular things happen. Next is Aza. Aza is in the cookout. So Aza is in a much better position than Alyssa. Um, within the cookout, Aza does have Derek F. Um, it seems like Derek F does want to take Aza as far as possible. That's good, but neither Aza nor Derek F are necessarily good at competitions. Um, what's good for Aza is no one in the cookout necessarily wants her to go first, but what's bad is that no one in the cookout necessarily wants her to go to, to the end with them. So kind of unless Aza is um, winning a competition, she probably won't make it to the end. And even if she does, she probably won't win the in-game um she probably won't win the vote. Um, I don't think other players necessarily respect Aza's game enough to give her the vote. So I don't think Aza will win the vote at the end, even if she does make it. Um, so I think her chances of that are, are kind of low. Um, but her chances of making it far is are pretty high. Um, so that's good for her. What Aza should do in this game right now is she should really solidify this final three with Tiffany and Hannah. And um, she should start winning more competitions. Um or whatever. This week, keeping Derek X is, would help Oz's game a lot. It would also help Tiffany and Hannah's game a lot. Um, because it then puts... Uh, first of all, it, it might be beneficial for the cookout to keep Derek X. Um, we'll get into that a little bit more later. But uh, in general, it just keeping Derek X is uh, way better for Oz's game. Because it, it kind of forces the guys to have to worry about him. While she, Hannah, and Tiffany can try to maybe strategize a way to uh, outplay the guys in the end game. Um, because their goal is to get to the six, they are going to have to figure out how to win when they get to the six. Maybe break up the guys. Maybe Oz can strip Derek F from uh, the guys. Maybe Hannah can strip uh, Xavier from the guys. Maybe... Um, Tiffany can work on Kylan. Maybe that's the best way for them to do it. But uh, they're not uh, really doing that right now. But I think that's Oz's best play. It could get her to the end. It could probably get her to the final two. And then maybe she can figure out a way to get the votes. But right now, I'm going to give her a 4 out of 10. I feel like she's uh, in an icky space. Um, I just want to say I'm kind of zooming through this. And this is because I'm a little bit frustrated with the Big Brother community right now. I have made a video about uh, the diversity and... and um, just a video about the cookout and it was taken uh it really showed me the um 
the thought process of a lot of the fans, and I didn't like that thought process. I felt like it was a little bit uh, weird. But uh, hey, we'll move along. Also, um, there's not much to talk about necessarily this week. Um, for these next couple of weeks, it's kind of straightforward. We're kind of just marching to the cookout to get to Final Six, and then, then it'll be a lot more to talk about. Um, but right now, we're kind of just, you know, sliding through. Um, next is Claire. Claire is not in the cookout, so she's in a horrible position. Claire is not on the block right now. It is very slightly possible that Claire could go home this week, but it's very low. Don't think it will happen, but it's a little bit possible. So that's already not good. Number two is she does not have a good bond with Sarah Beth or Alyssa. And um, those are the people who she kind of needs to uh, be working with right now. Um, but Tiffany kind of mentioned that Sarah, that Claire might be knowing that she needs to work with them so that's a little bit good but in general it's still you're horrible she's in a bad position um tiffany's willing to let her go over Derek x that's already horrible um she's not in the cookout there's just not much she can do at all she would have to win a competition and then she would have to not be convinced to target sarah beth or Alyssa, which i think she could not be convinced of that um so hey i mean maybe claire could figure out a way to sneak by uh if needed be, but uh, even if she gets out one of the people from the cookout, she's probably going to go next, and then she's going to lose. So, uh, hey, I don't see much hope. Next is Derek F. Derek F. is in the cookout. He's in the final three with Xavier and Kylan, and he has a very good bond with Aza, so that's really good for him um, because it can get him drugged to the end. I think both Xavier and Kylan would rather take Derek F. to the end than each other, so that's two people who are the two strongest players in the cookout, probably willing to take Derek F. to the final two over anybody else, which is really, really good for Derek F. because that means he's very likely to get to the final two in this game. However, he's very unlikely to win. I don't think anyone in the jury really necessarily respects his game i think even if uh britney is voting she probably won't even vote Derek f and aza probably won't even vote Derek f um or aza may vote Derek f as a pity vote um i think if Derek f is in the final two it's probably gonna be a fucking eight to one. Oh, i apologize for cussing it's probably gonna be like an eight to one vote or something like that i just don't see any success with Derek f's path right now um go back to claire i'm giving claire a three out of ten she's not in a good position I'm giving Aza a 4 out of 10. She's in a decent position. Um, she's in a bad position within the cookout. I'm giving Derek, giving Derek F a 4 out of 10 because he's probably not going to win. Um, the 4 is because he's in the cookout. The 3 is because they're not in the cookout. Alyssa and Claire, 3 is. Aza, Derek F, 4 is. Next, Derek X. Derek X is basically going home. He has a very slight chance of staying, but it's not really much for him left in this game. Um, even if he stays, he's probably going to get out next. Um, he's just not in a necessarily good spot. Um, oh, well, actually, he has a little temptation. But anyways, Derek X is getting a, a 1. No, he's getting a 2. Um, he's getting a 2 out of 10. Congratulations. He's probably going to go home. I'm really zooming through this. I'm so sorry, but there's just not much to say. Derek X is... Um, he doesn't really have much he can do. Um, his best play was to try to convince uh, Derek F. and Aza to keep him. But uh, I think Derek F. is going to be a little bit locked in on not keeping him, even though that might not be what's best for the cookout. Um I don't think it is. Hannah is um, Hannah is in a not so good position within the cookout anymore because I feel like Xavier might be leaning towards um, the Derek F and Kylan part of the cookout, and Hannah is now with Tiffany and Aza, um, who have not won any competitions. Um, I think Hannah might be looking a little bit. Uh, stuck a little bit if she doesn't figure out a way to kind of a uh, re um jumble up this cookout scenario right um so she still could make it to the end with tiffany or or even with xavier if xavier does take out kylan or whatever may happen um she still could end up with the in the end and she could end up getting the votes it's very possible she's still in a decent position she's still in a better position in the cookout than uh, other people are but i feel like it's looking a little bit down on her um i'm gonna give her a six out of ten i feel like it's a little bit less likely for her to work her way to the win as of now and i feel like Derek x leaving is very bad for her and i don't even think it's necessarily the best thing for the cookout i think it's very quite possible that claire wins the next hoh and it's like i'm not taking out Alyssa and sb why would i do that or Alyssa went in the next hoh and be like why the fuck would i take out a claire and her and she has an alliance with sb so it's very very likely that the cookout could get dismantled because they took out Derek x um and I think only tiffany's thinking about this and they gotta wisen up a little bit but the gag is is that this is only good for Tiffany because if, let's say Tiffany's right and that 
the other three girls aren't looking at the cookout. Aren't, I mean, aren't looking at each other. They're going to look at the cookout. If Claire wins, she ain't taking out Tiffany. Um, but if Alyssa wins, I don't think Alyssa's taking out Tiffany either. Um, but since Alyssa's in this final four with Xavier and Kylan, it's kind of like, ah. But Alyssa might take out Big D, um, which is good for Tiffany. And Alyssa could convince Alyssa. I mean, Tiffany could convince Alyssa to take out Big D um, if she works her magic a little bit. But I don't know. Um, because Xavier is going to be pushing probably for uh, Tiffany to go or something like that. And it's like, ooh, uh, ooh. You know, um, so Tiffany has to find her way around that. But we're talking about Hannah. I feel like uh, Hannah's just not doing anything uh, necessarily good. I don't think she's positioning herself that well in the cookout anymore. I think she's kind of losing ties with Tiffany. Um, she doesn't really have – she's kind of losing ties with Xavier. Um, so her end game is looking a little bit more washy than it was at first. Um, and I feel like what she's doing this week is a little bit not good, not even for the cookout. I've kind of been trying to consider, OK, they're doing what's for the cookout. So is what they're doing the best thing for the cookout? If it is, they're doing good this week. If it's not, they're not really doing good. I don't think what Hannah's doing is best for the cookout nor her game. So I don't think she's doing that well. I'm going to give her a six out of ten because I still feel like she has a capability to win at the end. And I feel like she could reenter a, a better position. But I'm not sure how confident I am about that. Next is Kylan. Um, I still feel like Kylan probably will end up being the first person out if they make it to the six. Um, so I'm not high on Kylan. I feel like Kylan played good this week because he kind of controlled Sarah Beth's game. Um, but like I said, I don't think Kylan's doing what's necessarily best for the cookout uh, by taking out Derek X. Um, nor by keeping Claire. Because if Claire wins HOH, she might target Kylan over anybody else. And Kylan will be, uh, he can go, you know. Um, the more I'm talking, the more I kind of want to, um, I kind of want Claire to win HOH. Um, I'm all for the cookout. I'm all for the cookout getting to the six. Um, but if, if anything, if there's any world where that doesn't happen, um, I don't want that world to be the world where Tiffany or Hannah goes. I would rather that world be the world where Kylan, um, or Derek F goes, to be honest. Um, if someone in the cookout is not going to make the six, I don't want Alyssa to win HOH and take out Tiffany. If someone in the cookout is not going to make final six, I want Claire to win HOH and possibly take out Kylan. That's what I would prefer if it were to happen. But in general, I want the cookout to make it to the six. I just hope one of the cookout members just win the next HOH and moves along. Um, but um, might not happen. Kylan could go. Um, I'm going to give Kylan also a six out of ten because I think he's kind of pulling Xavier and Derek F back in towards his goal and i think that's good for him um now nah, i'll give him a five five out of ten um because i still feel like overall he might go home first so five out of ten he's in the cookout he's has a lot of uh power um in his persuasion he's very good at the game so he's still going to be able to like maneuver his way around a little bit more than the other people in the cookout i'll give him a five sarah beth horrible horrible hoh horrible um decision she's making She's not in the cookout. She's barely in alliance with Alyssa. If Claire wins HOH, Claire might still end up targeting her because she put her up. Um, Sarah Beth gets a freaking three. You did everything. She gets a two. You did everything this man wanted. You're not in the cookout. He doesn't even want you here next week, let alone. You're a big cart target for the cookout next week. If Derek F., Tiffany, or Hannah win HOH, they're going to take out probably Sarah Beth. It's just not that. It's not looking too cute for you. You know, even Ky Kylan might even take out Sarah Beth himself. That's the guy. He might even be like, mm, she can go, you know, like, uh, she can go next. Tiffany. Tiffany is not that not in a good position in the cookout anymore. She's really not. Um, if she gets to the end, she's could be the first one gone. Um, Kylan and Xavier and Derek F are trying to reconcile this little final three. If that works, Tiffany's not in that. And she's probably going to be the main target. Um, not in that she's not in a good position at all um, what's happening this week is not good for her game even though she knows it's not good um, she hasn't succeeded in, in fixing it um, I feel like I have a lot of faith in Tiffany's capabilities as a player and I have a lot of faith that Tiffany can turn this around in her favor um, so I, I don't want to give her too low of a score but I'll give her a freaking six out of ten she's not in a good position she just isn't. She's not doing well. She's not in a good position. There's not much she could do. Xavier. Xavier is the last person. I'm Zooming. It's been 14 minutes. I truly apologize because I know I'm talking so fast. I know I'm not deep diving that much at all, but there's not much to deep dive, to be honest. Anyways, Xavier is the last person. 
Xavier is um, in the best position in the house, in my opinion. He's in the very good position within the cookout. Tiffany is aware of this, but there's not much she can do. Um, so who cares? Um, Xavier is... Probably not going to go home. Even if he gets to the top six and people want to get him, it's probably not going to happen. Right now, it's looking like Xavier is going to win this game. It's looking like uh, there's nothing much for anyone to be able to do um, unless Tiffany snipes him out. Um, and Tiffany's kind of a not a good person to have on your bad side. So uh, it's looking a little icky um, just because of Tiffany. Tiffany's a, a sore in his side right now. Um, but in general, he's still in a wonderful position. He's probably still going to win the game and things aren't turning around yet, even though Tiffany's on to him. Um, so I'll give him like an eight out of 10. What did I give Tiffany? I think I want to keep her at us. I think Tiff gets a six. Uh, Xavier gets an eight. I'm fine with that. Hannah might get a five. No, Hannah gets six. All right. Um, there you go. I'm done. I zoomed. I really did zoom through it. But I said what I said. There's not much else for me to get into. When it gets deeper into the game, past this little point of we're just taking out anybody not in the alliance, um, things might get a little bit more interesting. This week was just boring. I said what I said. I'm frustrated with the with the community. I'm frustrated with really what's going on in the house. I don't even want Xavier to be the... I want Tiffany to win the game. Um, and I just don't like how... Ugh, it just She doesn't seem like she's going to be the winner. Um, Derek X leaving this week is, is just annoying a little bit a little bit frustrating um but it is what it is it is what it is um i will see you guys next week hopefully next week is a better week for me hopefully next week is feels a little bit less straightforward but i doubt it i think the next time i will be talking for a little bit longer is going to be after the triple when um literally all of that happens um and that will probably be a great discussion but until then, I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Toodles.